Hello everyone, this is Matches, and welcome to The Lead Murder. I never seen anyone play this one before, so I'm going in blind. What is this? Can I touch stuff? Your help. No. I need you to find my son Michael. Am I here? He, I think he went out to Grace Wind Park. No, I'm here. Please, you have to find him. Uh, hey guys, I'm found. All right, bye. Okay, no, seriously. Now, what's this? It's from Mother Company. Shouldn't even be worth mentioning, really. I could do this whole job for my off and tell her I'd never found anything. Yeah, find a rip jack or something, call it a day. But something about this feels off. There's a wrongness to it that that's burrowed into my bones that I just can't shake. I should remember to bring a flashlight. Did I put batteries in it and lock the place up? No telling how long I'll be gone for this time. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, wow, man, you must really love your job. Hey, first I want to acquire batteries. Well, this hey, okay. Okay, so okay, okay. So I'm getting, I'm heading out now. Okay, that doesn't really tell me a whole lot, does it? Oh, keys, of course. Hit. Okay, I guess I'm going. Two days ago, I got a call from a woman asking me to look for Michael Leeds. I had seen the name earlier in the week. Local guy in his 50s, fresh out of prison, he was accused of killing his buddies on a camping trip back in the 70s. It's a few days out and he was already popping up on flyers around town. Missing. Last seen heading into Gracewind State Park. I've seen those seven words too many times since I moved out here. They might as well just say, don't bother, you're not going to find them. <laughs> I told her I would do my best and plan to just wait until she gave up. They usually do. Then they, then that call came through last night. The man on the other end of the line was out of breath. It's me, Static Michael. I found something in the woods. Wrong number, that's why I told myself. Another Michael. Not the guy I was looking for. I said it to myself over and over. I was trying to convince myself, even while I was talking to the park ranger, who told me about the car that I had driven through the service entrance. Now here I am, in front of a stolen Gracewind Park vehicle parked in front of a cabin that's not marked uh, on any other park's map. Okay. Oh, the sounds, they sound familiar. Can I run? Okay, I'm running. Did, am I supposed to investigate this thing? Touch, touch, touch. Nothing? Okay. Okay, I guess I'm going. Hey, this, this place looks so so nice, so serene. Far different from the hellscape I live in. I figured it out, buddy. Don't worry. And I could really use a retreat just just to get away from my mother. If she would not shut up. I mean, if if anyone knows what it's like to live with a a mentally ill person. Yeah, you know my pain. Okay, what's this? A cabin in the woods! What's a house key right there? What's that? What is that? Hold on. Gimme. What's 
this. What's this? Close the door. What now? November in 1879, I see her sometimes. The angel that saved me from the water. Ma says she's not real. No one knows her, has ever seen her. But I gave my angel a name anyway. Your niece? I think it's a pretty name. My angel sings when I tell her that she has a name now. I can hear it. A twinkling sound, like bells at the back of my head. Ma doesn't understand. Eurydice tells me not to worry about Ma and Pa. She sings me to sleep every night now. Okay. It's got so dark. Bro, I just, bro, I just got so dark now. That ain't right. Uh, hi. It's locked. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, somehow I must have time traveled because it was not this dark before. Don't worry, the only thing protecting me from the outside elements. To say how nice it is. Okay, what's this? What's this? Okay, what now? June 9th, 1999. Hey, boss, she's in my head every... Everything else. He... Here's been pretty normal. I found something in the lake, and now it's in my mind. An old cabin about a mile out from Old Grace Wind. There wasn't much there except for Alice. Still alive after all this time, but I marked the location down. I'm going to put up some caution signs. Because my lady of the lake needs the sight undisturbed. We don't want anyone getting hurt out there. We got some more missing people this week. Too, because Alice's pet won't let us... Do our work, so I've been keeping an extra eye out. Gotta make sure no one else is drawn away from the lady's light. Gets hurt out there, after all. I'll make another trip out there tomorrow to make sure the witch is sealed away. My lady needs nourishment. Those signs get posted. I'll update you soon. What? Why? What? What? Why is there a combination lock? Okay. Ah, too many questions. Look at this. What is this? Uh, uh, uh. What's this? Newspaper heading. Uh, the town of Gracewind today for formally announced the, the disbanding of the Gracewind Scouts program. For years, this junior outdoorsman's club has been a subject of much controversy, especially after the disappearance, the disappearance of Scout Troop 19 during their overnight trip to Gracewind Lake. Okay. Is this enough locks, buddy? That just sent chills. Hello? Okay, I'm scared. Uh, just place mess in the head. Other side of the... Here? Hello? Okay, I'm unnerved now. Is there anyone here? Is there an actual threat to me? Hello? Hello? Very unnerved. Do I dare touch that? Okay, okay how, how about I look around first? Okay, what's the key? God, that, that, there's so much stuff to read, man. I'm really expecting to see something in the other room. Tristy, do I, can I find a light bulb? Can I leave? Okay, no, I, no, I do not. I don't like to look outside. Okay, 
key. Bookshelf cabinet. Oh boy. Oh boy, the anxiety is starting to pick up. You know what? Screw it. I'll do it. It's mine. Uh, uh, okay, this, this is something here, man. Wax doll. Press you in a windsill. We'll take the time to make something like this. Keep it lying around. Facing the bedroom watching. Okay. Hello! I'll wait. You, you can stay there and wait, buddy. Does this work? There is no light bulb. Oh my god! This guy knows how to put up an atmosphere. Okay, can I crouch? It's not. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, don't know what to be reading. Six, 1998. Tonight was a weird one, boss. I know you don't read these, but it makes me feel better thinking it was that you do, so so I'm gonna pretend. <laughs> Someone saw movement down at the lake. There weren't any cabins or campsites rented out. So it seemed kind of fishy, and I didn't want to repeat of the act, the incident with those kids from a few weeks ago happening again, so I went to check it, check it out. And I know you said it, it isn't so serious and no one was hurt, but I learned. I swear, I'm printing out all those notices and keeping them up on the board here. Anyways, I went down to check it out. Nothing too weird. Just an old guy going for a hike. He didn't look like much of a hiker, but he told me about the trail he took to get there, and it sounded like it all checked out. There's another, lo there's another local. They don't make them anywhere else like they do in Gracewind. He invited me to look out at the stars for, from the lake for a bit, and I don't know why, but I said I would. I took a seat right on the stump and stared on it into the big empty nothing. I don't get star, I don't get stargazing honestly. At least I thought I didn't, but then I looked up, and I saw those stars in that lake, and I found myself thinking, you know, maybe there's something to it after all. That's not the weird part. You ever had a, a, a song you just can't get out of your head? Or an itch that won't go away, no matter how hard you scratch. I, f I feel that, or in the back of my mind, like there's a thought there, and I just can't reach it. Every time I think about the lake, it's like I'm scratching that itch. Yeah, maybe it's it persistent, though. Ah, uh, to me it sounds like schizophrenia. Why can I pick this thing up? Okay, what's this thing now? Th th how many things do I have to read? Okay, uh, okay here it is. Um, uh, Philip? 1909. Handwriting is so shaky and messy, but still slightly less so. Here it is, left a child on my doorstep. A wailing, stinking, screaming thing. I can only imagine what it looks like. As much as I hate her, I can't bring myself to let innocent suffer for her actions. I'll name the child Philip. Philip has grown prodigiously, I can't pronounce that. He's much larger than I would have expected, and he has started to speak, babbling mostly, but I hear him trying to form words. At 14, Philip is standing and walking on his own. His ability to speak is unusual. He has great difficulty forming words on his own, but he can repeat things that he has heard with incredible accuracy. Um. Hmm. Just today I heard him repeating bird calls that he had heard while laying on in his bed. 1917. More and more people from Gracewind find themselves near my home every week. No matter how many times I tell them, they keep coming this way. This is your this is doing, I know it. So Phillips understands my anger. I keep trying I'm trying to keep them safe, but they don't know the danger that she poses. He wants to scare them off. But I told him that will only make things worse. I hope he understands. Yeah, I hope. Hopefully, I don't meet Philip. 
Is there anything else you want me to read? I just read an essay. I'll pick it up. Pungent liquid. Can I, uh... I don't... Why not? Okay, only one of things here. Okay, can I key, can I key? Uh... Okay. Hi. What now? Okay. Lost people, 1887 spring. More strangers this week. Yerdia shows them to me, coming through the woods, lost and cold. She showed me all the, showed me all of the things that would happen to them, the ways that they would be hurt trying to get back to their homes. The people of Gracewind turned their backs on me long ago, but they have the decency to lead me to my own devices, so I helped them. Yerdia was furious. I felt today. Eurydice has protected me for so long, I thought to myself that in just a few moments I will be back on the trail, and everything will be fine. But the longer I sat there in the underbrush, covering my bleeding eye, the more I set in that it was happening in the now. She had made her message clear. I, if I betrayed her, there would be a cost. I had forgotten what it was like to fear my angel. I never realized how thin her patience ran. Oh, that doesn't sound like a good person, does she? Okay, what's this? What now? No key is the key for shed door. What now? An old journal. September 9th, 1999. The ritual was done. No one would ever think to stop me by returning my personal effects to me. A sign of vision from a baptismal bird. A distant memory hidden in the melody of a shattered song. My locket, sealed by song. Promises of the body revealing by cleansing flame. And a sign of hope, dancing on a traitor's tongue. So long as they stay hidden, my return is inevitable. Okay. No one's gonna chase me now, right? Well, the lights that there were not. There were not light bulbs before. Right? Hey, God, dear heavens, man. I gotta do this to me. Can, 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 can I pick this up now? Is this a thing? Something's gonna kill me. Do it now. Okay, I'm on it. I swear, man. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, spooky, spooky, and all that, but. Why can't I open this? Oh, this is gonna be fun. First time was to put the wax figure here, but I that's not gonna do much good, was it? Oh, please spare me. Hi. What's this? I'm gonna... Okay, what now? Oh, oh scout guides. Grace wins so many... Great Grand Lake. Due to the unique shape of the lake basin, it reflects a very different constellation from what you will see in the sky. If you look very closely, you can even see some stars in the lake that aren't even in the sky. This optical illusion is just one of the many special things. Okay. Okay, nothing's gonna get... It is dark in here. Hopefully not the shed. Hello. Close the door behind me. What's this? Alright, what's this? Betrayal. Oh, that's oh, oh, that's nice. May 1881. Pa brought me down to the lake last week. I didn't know what he was planning to do. He held my he held my head under. He told me it was better if I weren't alive. That no daughter should have to grow up to be a witch. I didn't know what water could make you feel like. There's fire inside of you. Everything went black. And Pa was bringing me back down to the lake. I told him I told him I didn't want to go, but he brought me back to the lake again. He told me. No daughter should have to grow up to be a witch. The water, the fire inside, dark. I heard the bells, and Pa was taking me back down to the lake again. I didn't want it to happen. I tried to run. Water, fire, dark, the bells. I called out for Ma. Water, fire, fire, dark, the bells. I didn't know how many times it happened. I, d I don't know how many times he brought me down to the lake. How many times he dragged me down there before I did it. Before I pushed him in. I hope he felt it. Water, fire, dark. I should tell Ma. Uh, is, are you sure there's something else in here? <laughs> oh, this is great, man. This is real great. Okay, like in some games, just just keep just try with whatever garbage you can. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Which is kind of the, the problematic here. Okay, the thing about this menu, if you don't... What? Please, you have to help me. I'm just as trapped as you are. Uh, it... Okay. Um, what? Okay. Oh. No, it's just... Okay, the thing about this menu which is bothering me, if you use an item that doesn't work, it'll just... Okay, that makes sense. I don't know if she'll hold you here. I hope she lets you move on. You don't deserve this first. Uh-huh. Book? Book of knowledge? Could you not? 
I'm trying whatever, man. Still not. And uh, that's... Oh, hi! Toggle between... What's this? A piece of bread? Oh, what's this? Can I miss this? Have I been dancing all over it? Okay. Michael Lord. Transcript. Michael Lee's arrest record. We've gone out camping to get away from everything. Me, Cliff, David, and Caitlin wanted to spend some time getting back to nature. The first night was great. Just the four of us hanging out under the, under the stars, swapping stories about work and plans for the future. We passed out around the fire. The first thing we noticed was that was the David was gone. That was the David was gone. All of his things were still outside of his tent, completely untouched. I went to Caitlin to look for him, and Cliff stayed be behind in case he came back. When we got when we got back, Cliff looked scared, like he'd seen a ghost. He said he heard a he heard David calling for help, but he wasn't able to find him. We had trouble sleeping that second night. At some point, we learned David screaming for help again. And Cliff ran into the woods like a madman to try to find him. Caitlin and I took off after him, trying to follow the sound of his voice. But I swear it started to sound like he was all around us. It felt like we were running for, running for hours. Before we stumbled out of the woods and onto a trail that ended in front of a run-down cabin. I told, I told Caitlin to wait outside while I checked it out. She was gone when I got back. I never, I never even heard a scream. I never heard any of them. There was something else there that night. And it sounded exactly like them. Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay, that's not spooky. Oh, finally, you give me something. Okay. Okay, so left or right? Okay, so that looks like a frog's foot, a mutated foot. That looks like a dream catcher of some kind. This looks like a person coming out of a lake. And so, so, so does that one, okay. And... Oh. oh, never mind. Oh my god, finally! Okay, um... Oh, I got Okay, I was able to get the lock of the piano. Must be a reason. Play the music. Like was, which looks like was taught by Alice, and it opened a secret compartment. There seems to be another secret compartment of the piano. Mine. It's honest. It feels like a drawing back towards the. And you say there is another compartment this thing right why would you f all oh, right there's a there's, there were two parts of the thingy okay I'll just do that hold on I'll just run back here um, okay so take my sacrifice and I think about this menu which is so annoying This can't be easy. If you knew the choice you were making, you would turn back. She wouldn't let you do it. But I can't stay here longer. Okay, and this lock. Okay. Like this. 
like this. Okay. Hi. Oh, just put that in my pocket. Something tells me I, uh... Oh, boy. I want notes. Oh, beautiful. Uh, oh, Lord. Leeds is the lady's candidate. She tried to use him before, but he wasn't ready. He is now. Everything is in place. Her puppet can't stop us. I took a piece of the monster, using her own child to lock her away in its instrumental. Sealing it away behind a memory was just a bonus. I locked the clue to get it, and hid the key under, the mar under a marked rock. Her locket will remind her of all she's lost. She'll, she'll see it all through her own eye. Cursed and buried away inside of the same birds that marked her. Now we just need leads. But the lady wants others, just in case. It shouldn't be hard, but that thing keeps interfering. You'll think of something. Uh, what? Uh, great. Do I dump the bird in here? There's a what now? Some kind of sigil card into his chest. I can hear something rattling inside of it. <laughs> oh, oh, goody. Um, okay, hold on. Do I, do I use you in here? Do I accept my offering? What now? There's something in my my notebook. It looks like my handwriting, but I, but I don't remember. The last thing I remember was unlocking the trap door in the house, and then it's all hard to make out. I felt her. Whatever I did, whatever weird ritual I helped finish, I helped her get into my head. She was so sad, desperate. For that split second where we shared the same fleeting moment of being, I felt the need to trade places with her. I lost all senses of where my my own thoughts ended. Alice started, but I wasn't afraid. Blissful calm, like sitting in the shallows of a lake and someone washed over me. I knew that she deserved a, deserved a chance at this, at being. Alice Cater, something had controlled her, taking a lead on every action in her life. It made her a passenger in her own body. She has spent, what, days, years, trying to find another way. But who am I to deny her that? The rain soaked through the rest of the page, but at least the rest of the journal is fine. Okay. What, am I going back to the cabin? Okay, what now? The cabin. Here I am, again. The Cater Cabin, the last place that Michael Lee's was seen. Likey. What? Okay, first things first, buddy. I got this. Let me just work my magic. Way, make way, okay. I got it. I got it. 
Because somewhere it, it said it was under a marked stone. Which one? This one? I actually got and then I go back there. I got it. Okay, what does this note say? Ranger 4. Lady of the Lake. You don't have to worry about Alice anymore. She's she's just a husk. A worthless pile of bones. And in skin trapped in a rutted out root cellar. But she could ruin everything. All the things we worked for. I'll take care of it. All we need is a vessel. I followed your instruction and sealed the cellar door. Her abomination tried to stop me, but I was able to fetch her, fetch her on. It will make a good sigil. I just need a way to keep it out of the monster's reach. All that's left is the other four, and we can be rid of her for good. Who? Exactly? Who tells me not to be good for my health? Okay, more piano lessons. See. So this C. That's not ominous at all. Gold horn. I feel myself being pulled in so many directions when I hold the horns that I found in them. Like I should push aside the feeling of unease and break one of the locks with this. Anyways. Okay, and I got another key. It was. For, it should be for this one, right? Is that the door? this how many stuff do I have to read man a strange bottle it's like a glass vial of a strange liquid it's like act some kind of catalyst like combined it with something else got some alchemy stuff okay now what's this journal six hope it only works if she loses all hope that's why my lady needed me to understand we can just we can't just seal away Alice away it will never be enough. She'll always find her way back because she believes that she has a chance of keeping the lady at bay. But I have a plan. The lady may have devised it, but I am her instrument. And now it's mine as well. We need to break her. Bring her as close as we can to letting her achieve her goal and then take it, take it from her. And again and again until there's no more fight in that old pile of bones. That's when the final seal will manifest. I conducted the rest of the ritual. Follow, follow the lady's instructions perfectly. The final piece will show itself in the trunk of the tower. Then, then my lady will be free, and Alice will be no more. Uh, okay. Okay. Fury. 1918. Philip is dead. Fury just brought so many of them. Angry, screaming, blaming Philip, blaming me for people who went missing. I tried to save them, but they didn't understand. They called me my son a monster. They called me a witch. In a moment of weakness, I told Philip to scare them off. They killed him. I made a room for him under the house to lay him to rest. They'll regret this. Eurydice will regret this. He never hurt anyone. He was trying to protect me. Okay. Drama. I don't care. Shut up, lady. I don't know if she'll hold you here. I hope she lets you move on. You don't deserve this curse. I know this can't be easy. If you knew the choice you were making, you would turn back. Shouldn't even let you do it. But I can't stay here longer.
Okay, that 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 that's supposed to appear again in this lighter. I have a lighter. Let there be light. One now, the unexplained. The creature, I should be dead. Not standing on the path of the cater cabin, something came to the door, something big and vicious, fangs and claws and shrinking blind rage. But his claws teared right through me. Then, on that fading edge of nothing, I was back here. Am I dead? Is that why I'm here? No, there's more happening here than I first thought. But I'm alive. Flesh and blood, just like whatever I was. Whatever it was that tried to kill me, it clinged to what I saw. I'll cling to what I saw, even if it feels like the memory is fading away from me with every second that goes by. I'll get to the bottom of this. After all, that's what I do, isn't it? Find missing people. So, what if I'm the only one who's lost this time? Okay, got time to speed run. Okay. The ghost of Bison said purify him. So I'm supposed to purify this thing. It changed. I didn't the second little to the basin he's that I've taken one disgusting toxic property. Something organic in here. The bird! I'm just gonna move this so I can shut you up. I don't know how my memory is that good, but it is. But I'm just gonna go outside real quick. Pick up the rock. Pick up the rock. Okay, okay, now I'm gonna run back in. Yellow cat. Shandor. Get it. Right, again, I'm slowly getting to the bottom of this. What happens if I put the bird in here? You.
please, you have to help me. I'm just as trapped as you are. so devoted to keeping me safe. Okay, I am really exhausted, man. Okay. I lost count how many times I did this. Please tell me. Please, you have to help me. I'm just as trapped as you are. Whoops, I, I almost forgot. Good. I don't know if she'll hold you here. I hope she lets you move on. You don't deserve this curse. See a symbol. Uh, but I'm really bloody tired. I, I, <laughs> yeah, you can tell I did this uh, several times. It seems every time I use this thing, it's just bad news. I can't stay here longer. Okay. Oh god, god, finally! Something right! Okay. Ugh. Okay. Double check. Please. Okay, what now? Not torn pages. <laughs> the ritual will be done. No one will ever think to stop me by returning my personal effects to me. A sign of vision was from a baptismal birth. Wait, hold on. Did I read this before? No. I tried placing one of the extra runes now, but it didn't interact with the trapdoor like it did before. Since this last lock is something specific, it is for looking for. Oh, this door is open. Freedom. 
Let me find freedom. starting to race man it says it's it feels like an old game is like if you screw up you you reset and you, you have to start from the top again it, oh hey well oh, that looks familiar but please, no, no, please save me I am climbing you I'm turning off my flashlight there's no one here right Hello? Nice. Yep, yeah, what now? An old journal, okay. Uh, no, yeah, uh. The handwriting is still familiar. It's a copy written down by whatever left these mess other messages flying around. Whatever it is, I tried to call this. You want me to see? Want, excuse me? You want me to think? Is there anything else here I could use? Anything at all? Anything besides booze? I, I could really use them, by the way. Where else can I go, man? I've seen this thing so many times. The final piece of the puzzle. I found it! I finally found it! And I guess now it's the cue to kill me, right? Oh, I gotta... No, screw you, buddy. No, screw you, buddy. I don't care. I'm finishing this. I am finishing this now. Don't care. Don't care. Going through. Take it. Can I leave? Can I get my freedom? It's daytime now. Oh, yeah, I don't care. I'm running. I can go now? D d d okay? Oh man, that took forever. I hope everyone enjoyed that, because that was so tedious. Especially when I had everything and I just placed everything down, but it just it wants a specific pattern or just... I think like the skull has to be last or something. Or not. It's... Oh my god, that was so frustrating, but... I did it. 
And I need to lie down because I have been playing this game for several hours now. Okay, guys. That's it for this game. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. So some parts of it was very tedious. And I... I won't deny I was going in kind of blind. But man, it was so tedious. Just, just the last part when I had like everything. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I had everything. It's just that it just wants in like a pattern or I, just, I cannot use like a the, the wooden skull or whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please look forward to the next video.